I'm Jane Hirschfield. On January 25th, when the federal scientists were told to be silent, this march was first conceived by that afternoon, and by that afternoon I began writing the poem I'm about to read you. On the fifth day, on the fifth day, the scientists who studied the rivers were forbidden to speak or to study the rivers. The scientists who studied the air were told not to speak of the air, and the ones who worked for the farmers were silenced, and the ones who worked for the bees. Someone from deep in the badlands began posting facts. The facts were told not to speak and were taken away. Now it was only the rivers that spoke of the rivers and only the wind that spoke of the bees. While the unpausing factual buds of the fruit trees continued to move toward their fruit, the silence spoke loudly of silence and the rivers kept speaking of rivers, of boulders and air. In gravity, earless and tongueless, the untested rivers kept speaking. Bus drivers, shelf stockers, code writers, machinists, accountants, lab techs, cellists kept speaking. They spoke the fifth day of silence. <laughs>